What's going on, brother? Hello. Hello, brother. It's, well, as usual, you know, this period of time, it's not easy for anyone. But well, I'm happy to see you. It. Yeah, <laughs> it's good me? to see you, man. No, I just look at the energy you put out every day. It's incredible. There's a lot of people that don't get on the screen, and that's all right. I mean, you have, uh, but they put out so much uh, every day. It's incredible. And I just, you know, these last couple of days have been pretty intense. I don't know about yeah. for you, but uh, so I was just sitting around going, you know what? And I was just like doing, going on the news feed and seeing all the stuff you were putting out. I'm like, we should just do a little show, like a talk show, you know? <laughs> yeah. And we'll just have, we'll just have people come in from the audience as we see fit. You know, and just do it spontaneously. Be good to have something like that. You and Rebecca Williams coming on and just every now and then. What do you think? <sighs> okay. It's not easy. Definitely, it's not easy. And uh, uh, from what I see, it's not easy for anyone, not only for the masculine side or the feminine side not only for uh, women's or men's or whatever. It's quite difficult a little bit. But guess what? What is happening right now? I was talking with this, uh, this special soul of, let's say- And who would that be? About, uh, uh, <laughs> just I'm just guys. kidding with you. Yeah, Keep it I private. Know. Keep it yeah. private. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you can anyway. so uh, from our point of view and uh, we both feeling like this every day we are I, at least it is like that for me every day i uh, i wake up like a, a kid in uh, in the day uh, before christmas and i'm saying oh it's christmas eve and something is going to happen and uh, during the day, I have this feeling. And uh, at the end of the day, I say, well, it wasn't today, maybe tomorrow. But for sure, until the end of the year, something, something very big, bigger than we can, Im than we can imagine is going to happen. And all these ups and downs we have, all these, let's say, maybe some battles we carry on. It's for our own benefit. It's preparing the ground for 2020. And that's the most important thing. As long as we know everything is only temporarily, it's okay. We can, we can do it. No matter how hard, but we can do it. As for, uh, for the energy I put in, Sology group. It's a, it's a group where I can find myself, where I can feel, I can express myself as I am, as I am a soul, I am a man, I am a body, I am a heart, I am a, I am a mind, and um, as usual, I don't have to look for some posts, for some subjects. I just open my newsfeed and I take a quick look over the newsfeed. And in the next second, I know this one has to be shared. And from the last few days experience, I, what is going on? I, I share not for, my, not for likes. I don't share for anyone. I share because I know, in a way, I know deep in my heart, somebody is waiting for my message. And it's not my personal message. It's the message they are waiting. It's the sign they are waiting. And from the comments, I can say there were a few situations, or maybe more than a few, when they were saying, thank you, I need it. And from from 
uh, for myself, this is more than enough to know that I was serving a purpose. I was a messenger for somebody who maybe it's having his or her own battles. That's more than enough. And from my point of view, we are all healers, teachers, uh, students, all in the same time. We can do it as long as we go together as a group for the same goal in order for us to become the best possible version we are in this moment. That's it. Okay, man. <laughs> the show's over, man. <laughs> how's anybody supposed to how's anybody supposed to follow something like that? I I don't know. I saw it, it, Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I I think it's a natural thing. We don't have to push ourselves beyond our limits. Let's not forget uh, for example, there are healers, there are uh, tarot readers, there are uh, people who guide other people through their uh, writings, their uh, video. And and I'm sorry, I I was having my let's say personal issues and uh, some kind of a blockage, uh, a writer blockage. And I wasn't uh, doing so many live videos as I wanted, but it it will pass. So what yeah. I'm trying to say right now is we all have our part. We all have our. Maybe you you can you can say there are small missions. No, it's a single mission. But w we are everyone we are a, a piece of this big puzzle which is unfolding yeah. before us so we have to have the wish to 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 willing to willingly put us in 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 service of the others and everyone can do it yeah. if i can do it everyone yes. can do it we're all moving in that direction. Hey, so there's there's a, a clicking coming in when you're talking, and I don't it didn't bother me a bit. It bothered a couple of people. Somebody said it was oh. Morse code, but there are no there are no accidents. That clicking is part of uh, the frequency you putting out. I think if it's if it keeps clicking, we'll just unplug it. You'll be all right. But anyway, there are no coincidences. And so I I just thought, you know, tonight I'm sitting around thinking, man, it'd be cool if we just had like a, a show where, you know, we got two admins in Sology, Eon and uh, Rebecca Williams, and, you know, just like spontaneously come out, bring people on, just like a, you know, just like the Tonight Show, <laughs> play some videos, yeah. play some music, do some rap, do some light language, do whatever comes in the moment. No specific time every day or every week. Just let it come out when it comes out. Yeah. Um, so I saw something today. And it was it was a pretty incredible post. I see a lot of incredible posts, but I saw one today that was really capturing the energy of what's happening. And I posted it on my page in the Soldier pages, and it's right on the edge it's right on the edge of where we're all at. And I want to read it. In fact, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. Yeah. In a second. All right. And uh, it's by a beautiful sister. Her name is uh, Carrie Love. She's been around quite a while. She put some pretty incredible stuff out there. Anyway, here, here, here it goes. All right. I thought she put this very respectfully. So please hold any judgment or discernment until we're done <laughs> and then we'll talk about it so she says the spiritual community is somewhat of a joke these days the moment some of you gain a little bit of enlightenment 
you immediately want everyone to know just how special you are. Look at me. I'm a light worker. Look at me. I'm a shaman. Look at me. I'm a star seed. We're all light workers. Everything is light. We're all star seeds. We come from the stars. We're all made of star dust. Therefore, we are all aliens to some degree. We are of this planet, and yet we are not. Just because you did some drugs or did ayahuasca doesn't mean you're a shaman. Unless you've been initiated by true shamans, which takes years of work and practice in places like the Amazon, you shouldn't claim otherwise. Why this need to have all these titles? It's your ego trying to separate you from your source. I encourage all of you to seek the greater mysteries in silence. Heal yourself, work on yourself, and then simply share your story. Everyone gets so caught up in claiming all these titles and special abilities, seeking fortune and fame. Don't forget to remain humble. Humility is one thing that most people are lacking these days. True initiates don't claim false titles. They don't claim special abilities. They work in the veil of the night. They seek liberation within and never seek attention or accolades for all they know. They simply share their journey and things they've learned while remaining humble, always striving for greater growth. They don't dangle keys, the path or the way in front of you. These people are what we call charlatans and they're everywhere. I know of a few, I know a few of you, myself, and you're probably reading this now completely oblivious, <laughs> but I don't think we are, Carrie, little uh, sweet sister. It's a beautiful post. I understand people get excited when they have a spiritual breakthrough and they quickly want to share how amazing and special they are. But again, this only connects us to the eye, which is our ego. It's imperative that we remain silent in our work. Anyone that does otherwise doesn't have a full understanding of how the chaos in the universe works, not to mention the dangers that lurk when people are not fully ready to receive the greater mysteries. And yes, there are very real dangers that can greatly affect your physical health and mental well-being. Strip yourself of all these false titles and get back to your roots. Everything you need to know can be found within and on the shoulders of our ancestors. Guide people to go within. Guide people to seek wisdom from the past. It's a dangerous game to play when we start making false claims to pry on the innocence of our peers. The moment you stop seeking praise and attention for all you know, the doors will slowly open for you. The universe will reveal her secrets to you based upon the merit of your heart. Now, I'm not claiming to have no ego. I have one. We all do, and anyone that tells you otherwise is lying to you and themselves. I'm also not claiming to be an initiate of anything because I am not. I'm simply a student of the occult, which means I seek to know the unknown. I seek annihilation and liberation. I don't have any special abilities, nor do I have any special titles. I'm not a light worker. I work in the dark. I'm not an empath. I simply have intuition, we all do, but some are more connected to it than others. That doesn't make you special. I'm not a starseed, an indigo, or anything else. I'm simply a work in progress. There's an epidemic within the spiritual communities. It's a pissing contest of who knows more, who's right, who's wrong. I see very few people on here actually doing the work. Most people are too busy trying to prove something. You have nothing to prove to anyone but yourself. The real work is in the doing, not the same. So stop telling everyone how much you think you know and how special and amazing you think you are and start putting it in the work. Once you get to a place where you actually know something, you'll realize there are no words to express it because it is beyond you and not your own. And I agree. I think she comes in a little bit <laughs> like I would. <laughs> it's a little bit sharp, but you know what? If you really listen to the energy of what she's saying, She's saying, you know, what's the difference between getting caught up in a past trauma, not letting go and getting caught up and over identifying with a future self or a parallel self or an ascended master or a guide or your relationship with the universe in any shape or form. This is about us. It's about us. The universe cannot expand without us. We were all special. We were all on this ground crew. We're all the same. We are literally the universal mutt. We are universal yeah. soldiers and we have, we have the opportunity and the potential and we will and can and will 
integrate every single universal seed planted on this beloved planet and we will go out into the multiverses and be universal healers continuing the journey of expanding this incredible oneness that is all there is and so i'm going to hand it back over to you <laughs> it's your turn now no <clears throat> what can i say todd when i was uh, reading your uh, your share from this beautiful soul i was speechless she expressed in every word what i was all the time saying the same thing nobody's uh, below nobody is above we are all equals in sorry uh, sorry for my voice but <clears throat> we are all the same and it doesn't matter what what kind of title you are labeling yourself the more titles you are putting on yourself the more red flags you you rise up for me and if you're saying oh but i'm the greatest shaman of every of every all of all time and i made a lot of uh, ayahuasca and i made a lot of other stuff and i have a, 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 a diploma from whatever and a university unknown on this world I have a red flag and I'm wondering why are you bragging so much? What is your purpose to brag so much about yourself? If you are really, if you are really working for this humanity, for these peoples around you, your energy is speaking about you. You don't have to, 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 brag yourself to to uh, to scream on every wall on every street on every fucking building i am the greatest prove it that you are the greatest prove it by being humble in what are you saying prove it by talking with your heart and not with your mind for god's sake we have to understand that we are all one once and for all we have to admit it in in every way we are somehow connected maybe we don't consciously know about connecting but we are so why the heck are you doing that <laughs> It's a double edged sword, you know, because for every one of those people that makes us uncomfortable, there's something I'm unaware of in myself. And we know this. That's why I pull these people up as a practice every day. People that make me uncomfortable. You might call them colleagues or peers or friends or enemies. I wouldn't. No, they're mirror showing me something that I don't see in myself. So when people project at me, I'm not always perfect, but I've learned one thing. When someone projects at me, even if they're not conscious of it, it does not validate, rationalize, or substantiate my own projection. And I'm starting to live a life with very little anger in it coming from me or coming to me. You know, this this is good the shadows are good the shadows pave the way they are the light in front of us yeah they are and we've done a damn good job all of us and we've all been guilty of everything each and every one of us but there is no guilt and i think it's time we can start saying you know what there's enough information out there and available that if I need something, I can find it. Yes. But it's time to just make it simple. 
and be that what we are. Be divinity. That doesn't mean walk around like a light bulb. It just means keep in your consciousness. I am a divine human being. And then the next step, start doing, doing, doing what you want, doing what makes you happy. Because I got news for you. We're leaving with what we came in here with. I am soul. And everything in between is what we'll never get to do again the first time. So you only get one chance to do it right the first time. And it doesn't matter what we've done right or wrong from this moment and behind us. What matters is where I'm at, where you're at, and where we're going. And everything's pointing to co-creation and collaboration. That is the order of the day. There's a new math out there. We don't know what it is. We don't know what the experience is. But I'm with you. It's here. It is not coming. It is here. And the more we engage the magic, the more miracles we will have in our lives every single day. And will only be done through co-creation, collaboration, driving the free energy of the universe that is our soul beyond money and material things into the only thing we have, the eternal moment and the I am soul. Yes. If I had to learn a lesson, lesson for, of forgiveness, I always return to the story from Neil Walsh, The Little Soul and the Sun. And there is a part there when, where the little soul want to learn forgiveness. And I always remember that we are in our essence, we are souls. And we are playing, some, some of us are playing the good guys, the so-called good guys, and some of us are playing the bad guys. But everything is part of a bigger plan. And if I had to learn something from, uh, from my uh, near-death experience I had, it was we are leaving this shell behind. And we, we are returning back to our essence, which is our soul. And the well, the journey is not, it's not simple, it's not easy. And you can make it easy if you can really understand what is going on behind the people's actions, behind this veil of illusions. Nothing is permanent, everything is temporary. And in the moment when you get to the point where you can really understand the other one point of view and accept it and accepting that point like okay this is your point even if it's not my point this is your point and i respect that in that moment you can you can really develop this christ consciousness we all have it inside, but we have to, to take it outside to the surface. We have to put it in a way of living, a living every day, every moment, every now. If I, if I raise my voice, it's not because I want to cover other voices. It's because I feel this roar of lion coming outside and saying, people, wake up. It's time to, for us to reunite. It's time for us to, to go in the same direction, in the same, uh, in, in the same way, in the same living this moment. And living also through this inner child we have. We have to, 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 sorry, my passion 
is coming outside. But good. we have to let this inner child to come outside. And we have to, to look at the world through these eyes. Because if we are looking as adults, as we were conditioned by family, by society, by whatever you want to say, we see only disasters, uh, war, hate, and hate is not what is defining our souls. Love is the most powerful energy of this, this universe we know. L love, unconditional love, is what makes the world go round. Is what it's moving all the things around us, including ourselves. Of course, this unconditional love has to start with you. And it's not easy. It's not easy to, to love yourself, forgetting the past, forgiving, in fact, forgiving your past. But in the, the moment when you finally uh, succeed to, to understand that there are, there are no mistakes in the past, there were only lessons lessons for you to understand, to grow up, to, to wake up to this kind of, let's say universal love, but I will call it unconditional love. And I will, I will keep singing and saying and preaching about love as universal law of this, of this world. Nobody can shut me up. And definitely, <laughs> even if I will be the only one. People's throat chakras are expanding. And it's good to see. And, you know, we think about projection and people acting out and we've all been there. But and we see a lot of it. But there's another side to the judgment we have that they shouldn't do it, which is something we don't see in ourselves yet there's another side to it and that's the side where right or it's not a right or wrong but shadowed or not people having the courage and the heart and the self-respect to attempt to put it out there and speak their peace having the guts to speak their peace even if they fuck it up yeah you know i've said it before and i'll say it again to steal a quote, I am not judged by the number of times I uh, by the number of times I fail. I am judged by the number of times I succeed, which is in direct proportion to the number of times I try. The more of us that put our truth in that moment out there by a post or a video or a song or a piece of art, the more of us that do that from our heart even if it's shadowed and then we're unconscious of it, it is a contagion. It is the free energy that Tesla talked about. It is the 369. It is the Trinity module. It is the spark of this new earth, a new age, from duality to Trinity. It is that third energy that takes on a life of itself every time two of us come together. Yes. I am soul and you are soul. And you're rubbing off on me. <laughs> Sorry, can you rephrase? Uh, I was starting to get emotional like you. No. My brothers, my sisters, most of the days, I'm telling you, I had this post on in this morning, in my morning. Most of the days, I'm not asking anything for me. I'm asking nothing for me. And I'm asking for every and each soul I know or I don't know. I'm asking 
for a possibility, for a way to open their hearts and to receive love. I, I'm, I'm doing the best I can to, uh, to inspire people to be themselves, to express themselves, to not take any, any word and uh, just swallow it. Not even from me to think for themselves, to see if those things are really resonating with their soul. No one is guru here. And to, to be honest, there is no better guru than yourself. This, this special soul taught me one thing, uh, one very big thing. We are all teachers and students. I always remember that. And as for myself, I don't consider myself as a healer. I don't consider myself as a great guru. I, I am just a guy talking within my heart, from my heart, talking about how wonderful it is to be soul and human in the same time. It's the best yeah. experience somebody can ask for. We came here as volunteers. I, I, I never spoke about my past lives in public. I remember quite a few, but I, I remember one thing. The moment when I decided to come from the stars for the first time here on this earth, I decided to come with love. <clears throat> I decided to come in love. I decided to come being love. Of course, along the way, along the journey, maybe I was forgetting this. But every time I was returning to my essence, if I have to brag myself, I am just an angel of love and mercy. But I don't do it. I am me, I am Ion in this, in this incarnation. And I am just a guy trying to, to, to put love around him and to put my part of love in, in this big shift was what is happening right now. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. Something's going on tonight. And that's another thing. We can start following our intuition because when we do that, it's becoming a place where two or more gather. You know, there's a lot, a lot, multi-dimensional, multi-streaming energy out there that's hitting everybody. But we are... We are the workhorses, man. We are representing the universe. We have, and we've proven that we have what it takes to continue to grow and expand, take these things in, process them quicker and expand from it. So <coughs> if, you, if you, like me and my brother here, and most everyone I've talked to is going through the shift countless times during the day has a rough day here and there particularly the last day and a half or two two days just know that's where the work is done it doesn't have to be painful it doesn't have to be sad it's not suffering it's us looking our own shit in the eye it's yeah. us not pointing the finger no matter what if it's a situation where the external is so strong, get the hell out. It's all energy. 
we're doing something incredible because we're in physical form. This is physical matter that is integrating with the non-physical. We're doing something incredible beyond our wildest dreams. And all we got to do is handle our own shift. And we can all meet in the middle. I call it the soul highway. I want to thank my beautiful brother here for bringing his A game. I want to do this again. Anytime. In the spontaneous. Um, yeah. And let me just tell everybody, it's about five in the morning over there and you haven't been to sleep like all good light workers. You don't sleep much. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Everybody I do my job. <laughs> and I love yeah. my job. Yeah. It's not quite a job. It's part of my being, but I, I just do it with all my heart and no regrets. Yeah. Right on, brother. And who was that special friend that told you about uh, we're all teachers and students? <laughs> I won't tell you her name, but I, I, I assure you. Um, yeah. I don't blame you. Kind, I, I, I have, we have this kind of special connection. And let me tell you, let me tell her in public. Mi niña, gracias con todo de mi corazón. Te quiero mucho. I love you as a soul, as a woman. And I am grateful for every moment when I am connecting with you. And even when we are not connected, you are here. You are here, Nina, all the time. And for that, I am eternal grateful. Thank you. Smoking. That's it, man. That's the frequency right there of the new earth. Yes. It's going to come together with two, and then the two will make it four. 16 64 128 and just keep exploding yes i'm very happy for you and i'm happy for her and uh everybody stand tall let's see what thank you brings. so much so thank you so much souls and thank you. love you all all right till the next time peace out Till the next time <laughs>